To get started with the project, which is in St. Louis, Missouri, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you're signed in. So if I go to the top right and I click on the sign in option, um, I can enter my uh, username. And my password. Now if you if you don't have a username and password, you can create an Autodesk ID from clicking on that option. But the benefit of this is that I'm uh, able now to access cloud computing. So once I'm logged in, my name will appear on the top right of the screen here. And now I need to go and just uh, make sure that I'm positioning myself uh, at the right geographical location. So if I switch to the Analyze tab, um, I can use the, the LO key in or I can click on Location. And uh, I'll see that I'm connected with a default being Boston, Massachusetts. That, that's because that's where the programmers are for the, the product. So if I enter now under the search, uh, field St. Louis, Missouri. I can get a list of places that I can move to and click on the one that's appropriate and I'm going to move it up. So what I'm seeing here is that this is the actual project location that I can pick up and move around and around it are weather station files that have the kind of average data on the, the weather and depending on the, the location it might be for a few years, or it might be for many years, ten years or so, of the uh, the weather in the in the, the area. You might want to just check the elevation of the sites uh, because it, in certain situations it might be that the closest weather station file is maybe not the one that's most typical of your site conditions. You might also want to check on things like the satellite images, so you can move in and actually look at your site. Now I'm using a I'm using a hypothetical site here from uh, from the, the the book Sun Wind and Light, so I don't really know where that site is. <laughs> I will try and find out, but uh, the point would be that on the bottom right of that screen you can say import site image. If you actually wanted to have an aerial photograph life size of your project, and you could bring it into the into the drawing. In this particular case. I'm not really going to use the site image, but I want you to know that that's there because it means that, for example, I could start by creating massing forms of the surrounding buildings um, the, of the site that I'm going to, going to use. The other thing that I'll point out here, if I go to the model tab, is that that blue box that you're seeing is the, is the show or don't show the plane that you're drafting on. So it's a toggle switch that you can turn on and turn off. And I'm going to turn it off at the moment. And then now I'm actually just going to delete the aerial photograph. So I'm I'm really already set up to uh, to now be working on my my project. If I'm going to move back to this floor plan 2D site, and um, the other thing that I'll point out in here is if I window around the those two icons and to filter, this is the project base point and the survey look, uh, survey point. And if I if I check off the survey point. So I'm looking at the project base point and I say okay you see this is where I could change the angle to true north if I if I, um, if I need to do that. Um, in this case again I'm not doing it but now you know where the information is. I'm going to assume that north is, is straight up. So at this point I'm actually ready to start creating my site.